What's up, everybody? Fresno Guillermo recapping game four of the NLDS. I skipped game three. I didn't really watch it. Uh, I was at my kid's soccer practice. Didn't care to watch it. Didn't feel like making a video. So what? Giants win 11 out of 12 of their last postseason games. The defeat, the Washington Nationals 3-2. Moving on to the NLCS to face a familiar foe in the St. Louis Cardinals. I got nothing but respect for the St. Louis Cardinals. They're a tough team. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you. If the Giants had advanced and the Dodgers had been there, I would have given the Giants very little hope against the Dodgers. The Dodgers have played the Giants very well, especially Kershaw and Granke uh, all season long. Uh, now that the Dodgers have choked and they're out of the way, uh, St. Louis Cardinals, who knows? You know what I mean? Who knows? That's one of those old-timey things. Uh, like the announcer said, the last four World Series for the National League has either been the Giants or the Cardinals. Let's make that five years in a row. Uh, just thoughts on the game. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say it wasn't part of it for sure. But uh, Giants definitely getting some calls. Um, that strikeout of uh, Ian Desmond, uh, with ump home plate umpire, called him out on strikes in the t uh, for the second out of the ninth inning. I thought the strike zone definitely benefited the Giants um, all series long. I think as a Washington National fan and player, um, you could definitely gripe about that. But there's, you know, I mean, you got to roll with it. You know, calls go with you, calls go against you. Giants had two replays at home, uh, didn't go their way. I mean, they probably shouldn't have, but you got to roll with it. You know, the team that uh, defies logic, the team that, had, that the announcers can't give a good explanation for why they keep winning, is moving on one step closer to the World Series. Uh, it's the eye of the tiger, baby. It's the eye of the tiger. Never feeling like you're out, just going, grinding. Getting a win. Team with horrible runners and scoring percentage, uh, uh, batting average. A team with a very light bench. A team with uh, over-the-hill suspect pitchers. You say what you want. They're moving on. Other teams, like the Angels, like the, uh, the, um, you know, the Dodgers. Uh, teams that were, uh, you know, the Nationals. Teams that should have advanced that all the uh, logicians said should have been there, aren't. So uh, savor it up, enjoy the victory, I definitely am. Uh, just, I mean, what can you say about this team? This is the golden age of San Francisco Giants baseball. This is the, the pinnacle of being a San Francisco Giants fan. Could be repeated, could be a duration, we could just be in the start of a 10, 15 year swing, highly unlikely. But uh, these are the times that uh, I will reflect on when I'm old and losing my mind. These are the times that I hope my son will have a chance to understand when he gets older how good it was, how strong a team they were. These, are, uh, these, these years kind of give uh, vindication to my wife for being such a strong supporter of the Giants. She grew up a Mariners fan. She still is a Mariners fan. But she's just as excited about everything the Giants do as I am. Um, you know, these are the years. you got to soak it up. You got to appreciate it. You know, you got to love it, baby. Dodgers lose. Dodgers eliminated. Giants advancing. What's not to like about that? So, hopefully some future employers or people, if I decide to run for office, won't get mad as I raise my Goonie shot glass. You know why Goonies? Because the Goonies never say die. Neither do the Giants. Salud. Enjoy the victory.